Hello guys, welcome once again. Last time we have seen how to make your first Visual C++ Windows Form application. And we have created a project called First App. And we have seen how to run this project. Now I will show you how to connect your Windows form application with a database and I'm gonna be using my SQL to connect with my uh, Windows form application in C++ and gradually as you proceed with these videos you can see a fully developed app uh, with the help of Windows form application and my SQL will be de developed so let's see how to connect your Windows form application with my SQL and then we will see how to make a login logout page with these two together so what you need to do in order to connect your mysql with your visual c++ form application is go to your solution explorer see here and go to your project and right click it and go to the properties And in here there is a first line called common properties go here click it and go to framework and references okay click it also and you can go down and you can see here add new reference and remove reference so you need to click add new reference and it will give you a list of references here but in here also you need to go to dotnet it contains five tabs but you just click dotnet tab and you can see so many applications are here before that you make sure that you have installed MySQL into your system MySQL is a very good database to start with and it's very easy to understand also and if you don't know how to use MySQL I have uh, some time ago I have made uh, the SQL video for beginners so if you don't know how to use it just go there and see those videos I will also show you how you can find my videos just go to my channel programming knowledge you will see some videos and on the right hand side you can see featured playlist and in here you can see my SQL tutorial for beginners so you can just see them and make and install my SQL and when your my SQL is installed then you are good to go with our application so we are on add references and we have clicked dot net here and just go down scroll down and find mysql dot data okay it has mysql dot data dot cf but we don't want that we want mysql dot data okay this one and 
click OK from here okay and you can see a new reference is added to our application called mysql dot data okay and just click OK once again <coughs> now we need to write a code to connect to our database so go to your form dot h which we have created this is a design window and this is a code window so just go there and if you don't know how to go there just click on any component and it will guide you to the form one dot h so just go at the top of your program where pragma once is there and namespace your app and using namespace is given now in here below your using namespace system drawing you need to add one more namespace so I will just copy this namespace and paste it down and then I will delete this thing system drawing and I need to write my SQL remember this is case sensitive so remember to write your code in case sensitive manner mysql data and then my s q l client okay so once this is done we are ready to write the code to connect to our database so just go to your design dot h and for example if you we want to connect uh, to our database when we click this ok button so how do we do that we will see just uh, double click this ok button and by default you can go to its action performed method and this is its action performed method go in between this method this will be blank so just make some space here and in here you need to write string and then this cap sign you can find this sign below your escape button so if you in case if you don't find it and then write con string is equal to l and then make double quote and then close your quotes and in these double quotes we will make our connection to our database so now you need to open your mysql database which is here and it looks like this mysql development and if you don't know how to open it just go and open mysql workbench from here and just go to the top here and in these menu bars go to database okay and then go to query database 
<coughs> okay and in here you will find some details of your database okay so this is your host name this is the port name and this is a user name and you must have provided your password also so just remember your password when you have installed your mysql so you are going to be need this 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 and your password for connecting mysql to your application so we will go back here and we will write here in between double quotes we will write data source is equal to and go there and you can write this also in your data source or if you are running on the same computer or same PC your MySQL and your app on the same PC then you can write localhost also for that so just write here I'm writing localhost because I'm running my MySQL database and the app which is Windows C++ app on the same computer so I will write local host here and then I will write a semicolon then I need to write the port port is equal to you can see port here port is 3360 and username is root so we will go to our application and we will write 3306 I think and then I will write a semicolon and write username is equal to my username is root and then once more sem semicolon and write password and my password is root also so my username and password is root and root which I'm running on localhost so just write that and in the second line write my SQL connection and just this cap sign is equal to gc 